Hey guys, how y'all doing? I hope you're having a really good week so far and I just want to say thank you um, to everyone that's extended just kind words, supportive words, good vibes, prayers um, for me to feel better. I thank you so much and I appreciate it so much. You guys really lift my spirits and um, it's just awesome. You guys are awesome. I love you guys. Um, but yes, so I'm still feeling a little wonky, but I did get to the Dollar Tree and you guys, I am like high on Dollar Tree endorphins right now. I am just telling you, let me know if you know what I'm talking about because, oh, I was like overwhelmed overwhelmed um so yesterday after work i went to the dollar tree closest to me which is really the busiest one around here um at least within my city and i sometimes i find stuff a lot of times i don't and i did find a few things and they were things that were new to me um so i was like yay you know i can't wait to do this dollar tree haul and it, it's a little one uh but today after work i'm like you know what let me get over to my favorite Dollar Tree, which is only a couple miles away from my work. So I go in there and they did it again. They did it again. I just, you guys, <laughs> here's my clock going off right now. Um, I can't believe the things I found. So many new things, so many wish list things, things I have not even seen yet that I'm sure would have been on my wish list. And I just, oh my gosh, I'm so amazed. So, <sighs> trying to calm down. But, okay, let's just get into this. You guys, oh my gosh. Yes. Um, do you guys ever get this excited <laughs> over Dollar Tree signs? Let me know in the comments down below. So the first thing I found was this really cute Easter sign. Again, I'm loving the rustic look they have going on. Going on. I can't even talk, you guys. I'm like, Ugh. um. <laughs> but this has like the little carrot. I don't know if you can tell. Yeah, you can tell it's like raised a little bit. Um, but just really cute, really nice size. So I picked that one up. And then, oh gosh, so I check out and as I'm passing the other registers to walk out, there's an area that I did not notice was there. And yep, your girl had to get back in line and people were looking at me like I was crazy. And I just wanted to say, you know, you guys, I got to show my girls what I found. So don't look at me all crazy, but I didn't. And honestly, these are, I, I just knew if I wouldn't have got them now, I would have never found them again. So, you guys, look at how pretty these are. Oh my gosh, Dollar Tree. They're killing it. Or they're killing me. I don't know which one, but... These are beautiful. I love that they had one for Hello Spring and one for Hello Summer. Oh. You guys, if you are into this, and I know I'm saying you guys like a thousand times, it's because I'm just like so excited to show you this stuff. But if you are into the trucks, into that like rustic country vibe, Get there, get to the Dollar Tree, and you might have to go to more than one, but I'm telling you, these are so pretty. Um, and then on that same rack, I also found this one, and I love that it has like the burlap banner going there, and I just love it. And then they had to just make me go even a little crazier and again with a spring and a summer they had these beauties so the red truck look at that you guys it has the water rounds back there 25 cents oh my gosh so cute and then this one is so pretty oh 
I, I feel like I won the lottery, you guys. I love my trucks and my country vibe, and I was just mind blown. Yes, mind blown. <sighs> okay, I think I'm calming down. I literally, you guys, I walked through my door with my bags, and I got in here, and I'm like, okay, let's do this, because I am so excited, so excited to show you. Um... So if you watched, I think it was my last Dollar Tree haul, I found some placemats. And I did not find the same color. The one I got had a teal background, but they did have a whole stack of these beauties. And I mean, come on, that one's really, that background's really pretty green. So springy. I love butterflies. Uh, anybody who knows me loves, I just love butterflies. Um... I do have a butterfly tattoo, but I know it's not on my back. Um, <laughs> so I got four of those. And then I found some more of these oven or pot holders and kitchen towels. And I thought these were really beautiful. So I got a set of these for you guys to put into the giveaway that I'm getting together. And I also got one of the kitchen towels to go in there as well. So make sure if you are not subscribed that you do subscribe, hit the notification bell so you do not miss out when I announce that giveaway. Oh, and there's one more kitchen towel that I got for you um, for the giveaway. And it was this one here. I am just loving, loving these colors, these just vibrant, pretty colors, and just getting me so excited to get this winter over with, and not that I want to rush time. I've told you guys before, the older I get, the more I want to hold on to time, but winter is just depressing, and I'm excited for summer and to get our pool back up, and our our pool is up, but you know what I mean. Get it opened for the summer and yeah. And then I found this sign too. This one doesn't excite me as much as the other ones, but I thought this would be cute to bring to work. And it does say Happy Easter. I don't know if that's going to show up really well, but really cute. I think they had this in another color too. And then I found the cute little Easter hand soaps. They had one in like a chickadee too, but I thought the bunny one was cuter. So I got one of those. And does this smell good? I mean, it's nothing special. It's not like those watermelon hand soaps that I found a few hauls ago. But um, it was cute. And I feel like, you know, a bottle like this, you can hang on to it and refill it so you don't have to keep buying one every year. And then I found the garden flags. So look at these garden flags, you guys, with the gnomes. What's this one say? Um, keep life simple. And these are 12 and a half inches by 18 inches. They're not super huge, but they're big enough to have around your yard and just make things look cute and festive. Um, but now I'm kind of panicking because I'm like, in all these uh, Dollar Tree trips I've done over the past few weeks, I've been seeing the flag, the poles to put these on, but they have not had the flag. So I haven't bought any poles thinking, what am I going to do with it? And now I, they didn't have the poles there. So I'm going to have to get back out there and try to find the poles. So I did get three of these. I got one for me, one for the giveaway, and one of these for friend mail. Because I know somebody who loves gnomies. You had to make sure she got one of those. And then I found my little pink chickens. How cute is that? And it's um, Be a Flamingo in a... Oh, I can't see, you guys. My eyes are so bad. Be a Flamingo in a Flock of Pigeons. So, had to get that. And what else? Over in that gardening section, they had some of these Jumbo gar Garden Bags. They're 30 by 3 by 24 inches. 
And they're just like these sacks that you can put some garden soil in or whatnot. So, you know, you just can kind of keep it around your yard as you're needing it and just keeps it like clean. <laughs> you know, so you don't have like a dirt pile somewhere. So I thought that might come in handy because I do a lot of potting outside once spring comes. And... I was pretty excited to find these two. These are the LED string lights and these were over in the floral section. And look at that. They have the little leaves all over them. Oh my gosh, how cute, how pretty. Um, so I did get a few of these. And I found these cute socks. They're shoe liners. But I like that they actually come up around the bottom of, or around the bottom of your ankle, I guess, because the ones that like just cover your toes and your heel, even though they have the gripper on the back, I don't know about you, but they never stay on. And I hate the feeling of socks that are out of place. So I just thought that was really cute with the Moo Moo and they had a bunch of other little animals. And I found some nail polish. This is by Jessie's Girl. I believe this is some kind of name brand, but they had, there's like two of them in each box and I picked out the, these colors. And then I got two of these because I wanted to get one of these for friend mail. And I did get a couple new magnets, but only one is here so the other one is around I'm sure but I thought this was cute and if you've been watching me for a while you know that I like my magnets so yeah I had to get that cutie and then I telling you guys this was like the mother load haul for me I found the little floor mat so I got one of the happy Easter ones and you know these are just for kind of decorative purposes inside your house really I don't I wouldn't put this outside it would get like dirty so fast but you know for the few weeks that you would have it out it holds up and for a dollar I don't have a problem tossing it if it looks all scuzzy you know by the time I'm done with it and then they had this one as well. So I had to get one of those, you know. And over by the um, Crafter Square stickers, this isn't anything new. You've probably seen them before, but I picked up a pack of these foam letters. And I like that there are several colors in here. And I just thought these might come in handy when I'm wanting, I'm, decorating picture frames so that's why I got that and then they had these really pretty Easter eggs and these are a nice size um, so I got the M for my hubby Matt and then I got the A for me and then I got it so it would be our initials. And actually, our initials are also my initials. <laughs> my initials. So it's just kind of funny. Um, yeah, so. <laughs> but those were so cute. And, okay. I have a couple more bags that are on the floor. So let me just grab those. How many of you guys have found <clears throat> so much stuff? Um, okay, down the like beauty aisle, I found these Modest Basics disposable disposable washcloths, and there's 24 of them in here, you guys, and they're they're really big. So let's say the dimensions, they're 12 by 8. So these are huge, and I thought that was a really great deal for a dollar. And they are alcohol-free, enriched with aloe, chamomile, and vitamin E. 
So I picked up two of those, and now I'm kind of regretting that I didn't get more. Because um, those are perfect for my hubby to keep on the truck. He can't always get to um, a shower every day, and he's kind of been, when he's gone all week, he's actually been trying to avoid the public showers at truck stops. Um, so those would be good for him to at least be able to wash up and, you know, keep fresh throughout the week when he can't get to a shower. Um, but, you know, it's just been avoiding the public one with all the C-19 going on and whatnot. You know, luckily, I think guys have it a little easier for just being able to do a little, you know, wash up here and here. And, um, yeah, I would freak out if I couldn't take a shower every day, quite honestly. All right, so I found some more of these Vagisil bath bombs. There we go. And this is a new scent. Um, the other ones were a peachy scent. I forget what they called the scent, but these ones are white jasmine. And I'm telling you, they smell amazing. And I told you what I was going to do with the peach ones. I'm using them in my clothes drawers to you know, give my clothes a really pretty scent. And that's what I'm using these for too. I'm not even going to use them as bath bombs. So I picked up five of these and I am going to be putting one of these in the giveaway when that happens. So your stuff will come to you when you, if you are the winner, it'll come to you smelling all fresh and beautiful. Um, I picked up some more pot holders. They only had one set of these left and I just could pass it up. I love it, how it has the barn and the rooster. And I don't know, maybe these have been around for a while, but they just happened to be on my radar today and I had to get it. And, oh, okay, I found my other magnet. And it's, it says, let there be pizza on earth. So cute. Oh, so I was so excited. I, I did not think I would find these. But I did. I found them. I found them. They were over in the gardening section. And look how stinking cute they are. Oh, come on. Those are adorable. And there's like a hole in the bottom. Um, but yeah. Had to get them. Had to. And one more bag. Okay. Oh, I hope I don't drop this. They had some little signs, and these are like the little wood signs, and this one, what does it say? This chick's ready for Easter. I just thought that was really cute, again, with like the rustic looking background. And they had another one, they had a bunny one, um, but I liked the chick one better. And then they had some new little signs here. Um, I don't know if you can read that, hopefully. Uh, it says, God is my refuge and strength. So I really liked that a lot. They had a couple other ones, other sayings as well. And then I found some books. Yes, I did. So I have here Ethan Stoll's New Italian Kitchen. And this is like a really nice hardcover book. And, you know, I say this every time. Why don't I take off the label before I do these videos? But I know why today. Because I was just so focused on showing you. Oh, oh <laughs> I didn't even have to because for once it's not under the sticker. So, you guys, this retailed for $35.00. And I'm always terrible at showing the pictures and books, but I will keep attempting it and maybe I will get better at it. So I thought that was a really nice one. I don't know where to put the stuff. And then I found this one here, Grocery Gardening. And it's planting, preparing, and preserving fresh foods. This got me so excited because I really am wanting to learn how to just do things um, to grow more and to repurpose things. And um, I just think it's a good idea to know how to do that. 
And so this one, here's some of the things going on in here. And let's see, this one, oh, they didn't cover up the price on this either. Or did they? And this one went for $19.95. And I got two of them because one of these is also going to be going in the giveaway. <clears throat> And then the last one I found is Rosemary Schrager's Absolutely Foolproof Classic Home Cooking. It's another really nice hardcover book. This retailed for $30. And let's, just, let's see. I'm obsessed with cookbooks, you guys. I really am. Um, I love them. And... One of these days, um, when we're done kind of doing what we're doing around our kitchen and dining room, I want to have a really nice, beautiful bookcase displaying all my cookbooks. So, um, okay, that is it. <laughs> I really hope that I've shown you something new, and I really hope that if any of this was on your wish list, that you are going to be able to go out there and find them. Um, Hopefully some of the things that I'll be putting into the Dollar Tree giveaway um, will be things that are on your wish list. That would be so exciting. And yes, now your girl gets to go put this all away. But I might have to take a little break before I do that. Maybe have a cup of coffee. I don't know. Um, just a reminder, go back and check out the Q&A, most recent Q&A video, because that is the video where I announced the giveaway for celebrating reaching 600 subscribers. And um, you guys, we're on our way to 700. So that's really exciting that this trucker family is growing more and more. Um, I just, I love it. I can't wait to get to that thousand so we can do some live hanging out. And yes, so... Definitely subscribe if you have it. Um, I would really appreciate it if you would like this video because it helps YouTube know to get my videos out there more. Um, yes, so that is it, you guys. Until next time, my beautiful friends, stay safe and be blessed. Bye.